Hello everyone, this is Fawaz, welcome to Future on Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate Google Drive data to OneDrive. So, this is what we are going to perform now. And this is the detail procedure and methodology how we can start with the migration. The first one is we need to log in with Microsoft 365 admin portal. And in parallel, you have to log in with Google Platform admin portal as well. And from Microsoft portal, you need to connect Google Workspace from SharePoint Admin Center. Then you need to install a plugin on Google Platform. During the procedure, it will ask for the authorization which you need to select, and then we can start the migration. So, without wasting time, let's jump into our environment. So I am already logged in on my admin center, Microsoft Exchange Admin Center. So once you click on Exchange Admin, you will land it on this page. I am using business premium licenses. So from here, click on SharePoint. Then it will take you to this page, SharePoint Admin Center. From here, you need to click on Migration. From migration, you need as we are going to migrate our data from Google. So click on Get Started. Just to inform you, I have already logged in on my Google Admin Center as well. And make sure you should have a super, super admin privileges while you are going to perform this migration. So this is the location where you need to create a connector. So I have already connected and I have tested with single user and it is successful as you can see here in the volume which I have migrated. Uh, this is the total volume which is supposed to be migrated but I'll show you in the migration tab uh, whatever I have migrated here. So, so after creating the connector in between when you are going to create the connector it will ask you to install that plugin which i have already installed it will take you to google workspace marketplace so you just need to install it it will take a couple of seconds to install it so once it is done you need to go back to the sharepoint and you will see it is connected so once it is done you need to click on scan so what it will do is it will start scanning and these are my users which I am going to migrate now. So I'll select all these users. I'll remove my user and one more user which I have already migrated this one. And after that, you need to click on copy to migration. So from here, you need to copy to migration. So after that, you need to click on this migrations option here you can see one is already completed and the remaining are never one right so select all these users or you can do the migration one by one or you can do in one go so what I'm going to do is one go except the one which I have already completed. So now click on migrate. So migrate drive content 11 drive selected. This migration will copy only, it is not going to migrate or cut paste the data, it is just going to do the copy on the Google Workspace drive content to the Microsoft 365. Right, so just click on migrate now. As you can see, migration status is in queue and in process now. So it will identify the folders and the files which need to be migrated and the capacity as well. Right, and so it will take a couple of minutes or hours depend upon the data what you have in in your google drive initially it will show you failed but at the end it will end up with 
zero failed and under folder and under file as well i was having the same issue when i was doing the migration for first user it was showing failed but when uh, it is completed then the failed were zero yeah. no data was failed if the connection is successful then everything will, will be fine so as you can see data is keep increasing uh, you will see some errors if the license are not assigned yeah. to all users so make sure the license is assigned but in my case there are few users who doesn't have licenses only six users are configured with the license so that is why it is showing error so you can the reason why i have unassigned the license because these users were available in in google and then later on i have migrated their emails to office 65 and later on because these users were no more available with this company so i have unassigned the licenses after the migration because i wanted to retain their emails so that is the reason but anyway so whatever is available as you can see some of them are completed and some are finalizing and some are in process right so you can see uh, the bar as well when the data is being transferred so as i said it will take a couple of minutes to complete it so so we have completed around all the steps whatever are mentioned here so i'm going to pause this video so once it is completed i'll resume it back yes migration is still going on so a couple of them are already completed and some came up with error because the license is not assigned to these users and some are in one is in finalizing and one is in progress it will take more time because um, the data of this user is around more than 3 GB I believe so it will take time as you can see the remaining are already completed so it will be completed soon so the process is same so this is it for now thanks for watching